Hello, and welcome to one of the dumbest videos I've done since the start of this channel. But I am starting a new job on Tuesday, and I'm going to probably have quite a lot less time to do this. So I wanted to do one quick video before I start that. Uh, don't worry, I have got more planned, so they will be coming. Uh, so please still like and subscribe. But this is a dumb video that's just something I've always wondered about. Um, and now we're going to find out, and that is what is the best chain coffee in the UK? So, my credentials or lack thereof of them. I like coffee quite a lot. Uh, during lockdown I've got into using sort of a pour over filter coffee um, and that exceeds most of what I think any of these chain coffees will do. So, I think that effectively is my credential, but here, so, I like coffee a lot. I'm not by any means an expert, but let's see what the normal person thinks is the best coffee. Oh yeah, there's four in this. So it's Cafe Nero, Starbucks, Costa, and Pret. Uh, and let's start with my predictions, start with my biases, because I think that might help. Um, I think Cafe Nero will be best. I always think that is my favorite one. It's quite a bitter coffee, it's very strong, um, and that's what I like. These are all black Americanos, by the way. Next, I think Starbucks, because I quite like their coffee. It's not quite the same. Their food's terrible, but their coffee's okay. Next, I think Pret. Uh, although their main thing is their food, their coffee's quite bad. Their filter coffee's better than their Americano, but to keep this safe, they don't all to keep this fair. They don't all do filter coffee, so I've got uh, Americanos from each. I think that might do fairly badly. I think that'll be next, and then Costa, I always just think is terrible. Um, I think it's really sweet, and I don't really like sweet coffee. Um, so that's my prediction. So the first one that's interesting, though, I've got them all in front of me, is size. Okay, I'm just going to show you them all. Uh, spot the odd one out. So here is Cafe Nero. Okay. Uh, now, Starbucks, and then Costa, and then lastly, Pret. Okay, so, pretty clear, Cafe Nero is tiny. Obviously these are an Americano, which means that there's one shot of coffee in all of these, and the rest is just water, so it means Cafe Nero one is considerably stronger. Which I think is something I like. I think they're all around the same price. It was about 210 to 220. Um, so that's not really something that comes into it. Packaging a little bit, I guess. You don't get a thing around the edge of this um, to keep your hands safe from being burnt. So they did get burnt a bit. The next worst for that was Costa, which has like this sort of insulating outside, but it's still pretty burning. Um, so I have my water here to purify between cups. Let's have a quick sip of that. Sip of that. Let's get on with it. So, first off, let's have Cafe Nero. So this is the one I think that's my best. Actually, we should do a smell test next, shouldn't we? We should see which one has the best, best aroma. I mean, it's all coffee. It's gonna smell amazing. My, my room is gonna smell amazing after this. Okay, so, Cafe Nero. It smells rich, it smells strong. Uh, it might smell a bit burnt, actually, those beans, I think. Let's try Starbucks next. It's quite different, maybe like nutty smell. It's a bit smoother, perhaps. And then Costa. Oh, that smells like, you know when you, you know that horrible coffee you get that's been sitting in a big pot for a long time? That's what that smells like to me. Uh, like uh, a breakfast at Weatherspoons. If any of you are British, that's what that smells like. Or a hotel, a shitty hotel like a B and B. That smells very different. It's really smoky, almost. Yeah, like a like a smoked sausage or something. Wow. Okay. Oaky, maybe. Wow, that's a bit more of a difference than I thought we were gonna get. Um, let's try the taste test then. So, Cafe Nero up first. To me, that's a nice coffee. It's quite bitter. Uh, it's got a very bitter aftertaste, but like, mm. strong, bitter, just lovely. Yeah, it's bitter notes, really, and it's it's just really good. I like that a lot. Um, I think on my official rating here, on my official rating, I'm gonna give this a seven out of ten. I think. And then let's try Starbucks. Let's try Starbucks. It's a bit fuller. There's more flavour there. It, it definitely hits differently and it doesn't have that bitter aftertaste. It's fairly inoffensive though. It's not very strong. So it's definitely weaker. Weaker, less bitter. Um, 
still quite nice, but it, it just tastes like Starbucks. I feel like they all they all taste the same. I think from that I'm gonna gonna give it a six out of ten as my preliminary score. I will I will come back to them, but yeah, I think six out of ten. Rinse out my mouth, and then let's move on to the Costa. Yeah, that's also again really really different okay so I can taste after having them all in the row it becomes a bit easier I think this is like more like a mocha sweet this is sweet so far we've had a spectrum where it's like cafe Nero on the bitter side and then this on the sweet side this is definitely a sweet coffee Starbucks is somewhere in the middle this is okay it's certainly not burnt whereas I think the cafe Nero might be a little on the burnt side It's not as bad as I thought it would be. I, I usually think Costa's coffee is terrible. My, so far, I think it's... So I think it's also a 6 out of 10 for Costa. And I might, I'm going to bump Starbucks to a 6.5 for now. I think. And we'll see. Final coffee. Perhaps it's like a bit scummy on the top. Which I don't think you can show. I can show that, but... It's kind of settled a bit, and this is the last one I got, so it's the most recent, so that's very weird. Cheers again. It hits very differently. Um, hmm. It's kind of, it's not got, it's got a bitter initial taste, but not a bitter aftertaste. It's more of a sweet aftertaste. It's a bit harsher than the others. Again, it's not so I don't like it. Maybe I don't after a bit more of it. Hmm. So some weird taste to it. It's a little bit more bitter, but in a bad way, instead of that nice bitter coffee way. It's like um something not quite right about it, is how I'd describe it. I think that one's a five. A five out of ten. So I think from from the list so far, it's basically as I predicted it would be. Um that 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 is the order but let's just have let's have another double check without rinsing I'm gonna have all of them again here um, and we'll see so cafe Nero first yeah I really like the cafe Nero it's like smooth bitter nice bitter taste though stomachs is inoffensive but there's something, there's some body to it, effectively. And then I remember thinking this one was sweet. The Costa one is notably sweeter. It's more like a mocker to me, but as I said, I don't really like sweet stuff, so that probably brings it in. And the Pratt is bitter, but a bit weird. I actually think, oh no, I'm going to swap those around. I think the Pratt's better than the Costa for me don't really like sweet stuff. So there you go really, I guess I think that Cafe Nero is the best, uh, which is what I expected really, but I hope that gave you some sort of insight. I know this was a ridiculous video and it's not really what I usually do, but we'll be back to the usual programming soon, so please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Uh, usually we've got tech content, I've just got a soldering iron for my birthday, thanks George. Uh, so we'll be doing something with that, uh, thank you for watching, see you next time.